stuff don't make no difference. See, your mind is not on the stuff. It's on the one who gave you the stuff. And just like he gave you the stuff, he can come and take that stuff away. So I'm going to praise him. Because he don't have to give me no more stuff. I got enough stuff now. I can go on to heaven. He can cut me off right now. And I know he still lives. How I know because he lives. I said how I know because he lives in my heart. And because he's in my heart. That's enough stuff. Jesus said if you don't praise him he'll make the rocks cry out and you know what I don't want no rocks crying for me rocks don't know nothing about weeping rocks don't know nothing about pain rocks don't know nothing about trials rocks don't know nothing about tribulation Hallelujah. how to reach him is how to reach him is what we need to know and how are we going to reach him Woo! We got to lift him up. We got to lift him up. We got to lift him up. Don't you want to stand up and lift him up? Don't you want to stand up? How to reach the masses, men of every birth, foreigner, such. Gave the key and I, if I be lifted up from the earth by your own men unto me, lift him up. Lift him up. Still he speaks from eternity. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, bow draw. How to reach all the world is hungry for the living bread. Lift the Savior up for them to see. Trust Him and do not down the words that he said, I'll draw all men unto me. Lift him up, God save you up. Lift him up, God save you up. Still he sees from each Don't exalt the preacher. Don't exalt the preacher. Don't exalt the few. Preach the gospel simple and free. Prove and do not doubt. That he said, I'll draw all men unto me. 
Lift him up. Lift him up. Still he speaks from eternity. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all meaning unto me. Lift him up, lift him up, still he speaks from eternity. And if I be lifted up, from the earth, I'll draw me unto me. Lift him up, lift the Savior up. Lift him up, lift the Savior up. A spear he speaks from Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. In Jesus, my loving Jesus Christ's name, we do pray. Amen. And the entire body of Christ said, Amen. Today we are going to resume on the subject and study of how to behold him. If you would stand at the reading of God's holy and righteous word, we're going to go to Hebrews today. Hebrews, the very first chapter in Hebrews. Where we find God has spoken by his son. Hebrews, the first chapter where we will find God has spoken by his son. First word and greatest noun in the world is God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory, and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself 
purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they, for unto which the angels said at the at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he said, and let all the angels of God worship him. How to behold him. How to behold him. You may be seated. Thank you. How to behold him is one of the greatest subject matters we could ever attain to understanding to the little best of our little knowledge. How do we look at Jesus? Amen? Well, the way God communicated with men and with prophets. The writer of Hebrews tells us that it was in sundry times. That is, it was in different and various ways that he looked down from heaven and conversed or spoke with humanity. And Sundry here talks about many things of different kinds. I can vaguely, I can surely say clearly, I can clearly see him now speaking to Noah. Amen. That is the first of my hearing after Adam that he spoke to Noah. Amen. At a very very, very important time. When men was doing everything they wanted to do, going wherever they wanted to go, saying whatever they wanted to say, being whatever they wanted to be, God spoke to Noah and said, build a ship, Noah, because it's going to rain. Isn't God good? He'll give us a chance to get it right. Noah preached for 126 years. One message. It is going to rain. Sometimes we get a little uh, nervous when the preacher preached too long on one subject. But I want you to know, you don't know, neither do I. It might be my last time. But I heard him preach from Sunday after Sunday how to behold him. Amen. But the last time, the last time might be my last time. I don't know, but I was called to preach. Amen. Preach instant in season and out of season. Don't worry too much about what they think or how they think. Just preach. That's all Noah did. He said, it's going to rain. They looked at him and laughed. And it did. In sundry times here, in diverse manners, spake he in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. I'm so glad God always tells us what to do and how to do it. If we just take our time, think, stop, look, and listen. Listen clearly to what God says. Because God will not tell you nor me 
anything. God will tell us the right way through the right people. Somebody say, how is God going to tell me? Sometimes he tells us through somebody else. And I want you to know that many times he has said it through a parent. Amen. Parent, tell their children how to live a good life, how to be good, how to stay from bad, and how to live a good life. Amen. So God is speaking to that parent because that parent had to have a parent. And that parent had to have a parent to speak to them, to tell them how to do good and, and how to be good and how to live good. Amen. Because it is a good thing to know that because my God tells me he holds the whole world in his hand. Amen. He got the little bitty baby in his hand. He got me in his hand. I don't know about you, but I want to be his little bitty baby. I want him to rock me to sleep at night. When I can't go to sleep, I just lay there and meditate on him, you know. I just lay there and think about the goodness he has done for me. And before I know it, I'm snowing. Amen. Amen. Because my God will put me to sleep. Amen. Amen. If the sleeping pill not working, get off of it. Get you some gospel. Amen. Get you some G-O-S-P-E-L. Amen. Sometimes we don't have enough of that. That's the reason why sometimes we can't sleep. Amen. We don't have enough of the gospel. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, I don't want to. You don't have to worry about overdosing. <laughs> because you can never get enough of Jesus. Amen. You can't never get enough of Jesus. And this is the reason why, because Jesus is the, all we ever need and all we could ever want for is in Jesus Christ. Verse two says in Hebrews one, hath these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. Now, read your Bible, good people, and understand that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. The Bible teaches us that he is the only Son. I love the word begotten. He is the only one that was begotten by God. Amen. There was no other person begotten but Jesus. Amen. Because my Bible tells me that <laughs> John 3, 16. So God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Don't you know that's the best thing that could ever happen to anybody? I know it's the best thing that ever happened to me because I used to think I was somebody. Oh, I used to think I had it going on. You couldn't beat me trying to dress up and look good. And I get this old nappy hair stare in the mirror. I don't know how long trying to get it right. Amen. So I can look good. So I can go out and strut. Amen. Like I want to strut. But I know when Jesus got a hold of me, I had to cut that strut out. Yeah, I had, I had to leave that strut. I left the house that day and I left that strut at home. And I said, Lord, walk with me. You know that song, walk with me, Lord. And when the Lord walk with you, you will walk right. You won't try to walk with your head up in the air, not speaking to folk, turning your head away from those who need something. You, you will walk right with God. Amen. When you behold him the right way. But you got to look at him the right way. Amen. Amen. Because he appointed him heir of all things whom he made to world. And look, oh, verse three is so beautiful. Who being the brightness of his glory. I, you, <laughs> I don't care what you put on. I don't care what you take off. I don't care how you look and how you dress up. You can never look so brighter than Jesus Christ. He is the brightness of the father don't you know he is the brightest of everybody if you want to look good get some jesus in you and you'll be just like that man that jesus saw going through jericho to go down to the pool and wash 
And the man went down to the pool and washed his eyes after Jesus had spit in the clay and put it on his eyes. He told him to go down to the pool and wash. And the man did what Jesus said and came back seeing. He came back looking. He didn't come back begging because they used to stand on the corners and beg. But now that he can see how to work, now that he can see how to do things for himself, he can tell somebody, nobody but Jesus. I was lost. I was blind. But now, yeah, 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 yeah. When I was trying to look good, I was blind. But now I don't care nothing about what nobody say about how I look. Because when I was blind and didn't know no better, now it doesn't make any difference what somebody says is the brightness of God's glory and I want to be bright in Jesus. Polish me up Jesus. Amen. You know how you put shoe polish on a shoe and you can't get enough on there. You keep putting it on there to make them shoes shine. You want them shoes to shine. Amen. Amen. Jesus didn't need nobody's shoe polish. Jesus is the brightest of our Lord. Amen. He is the express image of God. He was full of God and full of man when he was born of a woman. Can't no man ever say that. Can't and somebody believe it. <laughs> they got their uh, beliefs mixed up. They got their mind messed up because can't nobody say they full of God and full of man. But every man can say I'm full of man. Born in sin. Shaped in iniquity. And I need a savior to save me from this. So Paul said, oh wreck man that I am, who shall be, deliver me from this old wreck body? Listen, listen to what Jesus said. He is the express image of his person. And upholding all things by the words of his power. See, Jesus don't need my power to make you smile, to make you happy. Amen. Jesus doesn't need my power. Jesus have all power to make me smile, to make you smile, to give you what you need, give you more than what you need, to give you joy in the, even in the midst of sorrow. Amen. To give you love when hatred is all around you. Quit. Stop focusing. Stop looking at the hatred in the world and start looking at how loving Jesus is. Stop looking at what people are doing to other people. Just pray for them and see how good Jesus is. When you understand how good Jesus is, he's good to the evil and he's good to the bad. He's good to the just and the unjust. He's good to the righteous and the unrighteous. And I'm glad today that I'm a Christian because I know he's good to the Christian and he's good to the non-Christian. I'm so glad that I'm one of them today. I used to look at the little old Christian and say they go to church all the time. They go to do this and they do that. But I'm so glad I'm one of them today. I'm so glad I don't mind going to church. I don't mind praising the Lord. I don't mind lifting up my hands saying thank you, Jesus. I don't mind getting down on my knees saying I praise you, Father. I don't mind loving my enemies even though they might stop despitefully use me. I don't mind saying I'm sorry. Forgive me for my sin. I don't mind apologizing. I don't mind telling somebody I love you even if you don't love me and I want to love you just like Jesus loved me because there is no love greater than Jesus' love. No love greater than Jesus' love. Amen. I don't care how bright I get. I can't get brighter than Jesus but I'm traveling every day. I'm climbing on the rough side of the mountain. I never seen anybody climb on the smooth side because they're slipping and sliding on the smooth side. So you got to go through some rough times. You got to go through some hard times. You got to go through some unpredictable times. You got to go through some time that you don't know whether you're right. You don't know whether you're wrong. You got to go through some time 
when your children run out on you, when your husband and wife run out on you, when your friends turn their back on you, you got to go through some time when you don't even know what time it is in the midday time. You got to know Jesus is always on time. Jesus is always on time. I said Jesus is never too late. He's always on time. Let me let me let me say this and I'm through. Seeing Jesus being always on time, upholding all things with the word of power. Seeing Jesus who purged me of my sins. Seeing Jesus who sat down when he got to heaven on the right hand of the Father. Seeing Jesus who stood at my door one day and knocked and told me if I open up the door. Amen. Seeing Jesus. Seeing Jesus saying, if you open the door, I'll come in and I'll make a banquet. I'll come in and make a party with you you never had before. Seeing Jesus smile a rock in a weary land. Seeing Jesus my way out of no way. Can I see somebody raise their hand and say that I see Jesus? I saw him one Friday morning. I saw him one Monday morning. I saw him one Tuesday morning. Can I see somebody raise their hand and say, I saw him walking the road of sin. And when I met him, I said, Lord, save me. And he took me in. Don't you know he'll take you in? Just like he took Peter in. When Peter was walking the water and he began to sink and, G and Peter screamed out, Lord, save me. Don't you know the Lord don't have but one word? He said, come. And Peter came to the Lord. Don't you know calm have one pronoun in it? And that's me. What about you today? Have you called him? Have you asked him to save you? If you behold him with the eyes of brightness, if you behold him with the eyes of love, he will, he will, he will make everything all right. Because he is the highest of every angel. There's no angel that can save me. But my rock, my way, my love is all about Jesus. Do you know him? Have you tried him? You ought to say it. Yeah. You ought to say it. Yeah. Yes, Lord. I know you. You rock me. You roll me. You hold me in the palm of your hand. Yeah, Lord. He's all right. And he's all right. All right, all right. And I'm glad. I'm so glad. He is the brightness of my God's glory. He is the brightness of my God grow how to behold him he is the brightness of my God's glory 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 hallelujah since I laid my bed You mean to tell me you don't have no burdens? That's not your business. Your business is to ask God to lay them down. And whatever whatever problems you're going through, just said, Lord, save me. Lord, save me. I don't care what it is, Lord, save me. Have you beheld his glory so much? That now you can stream out down on the street corner. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. 
Would there be one today? Would there be one today? The Lord would have you to come. It could be something you don't know, I don't know, but God knows. God wants you to do. Because of the brightness of his glory, even angels can't compete with him. Don't you know it's a foolish thing to try to compete with God? When even angels have to recognize him as the son of God. When even angels have to recognize him as the only begotten of God. Don't you know it's a foolish thing to lay him aside? Don't you know you are on walking on sinking sand? You bound to sink if you're walking on your own ways. Walk in the way of Jesus. Amen. And he'll make everything all right. God sent his son. They call him Jesus. He came to love. Would there be one today? He then forgive. He led the desire to bow Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And that's why he didn't come. Is there to prove that my Savior lives? How? Life is worth 
the living just because he lives. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because God lives, he lives, he lives, he lives. I can face, I can face tomorrow because he lives because he lives yeah because he lives oh my fear is gone because I know he holds my future because he lives today. And life is worth a living jest. My life is worth you may come. a living jest. My life is worth a living jest. Because he lives, because he lives, we can face tomorrow, because my God is. Somebody else oh, might want to come. Somebody else might want to come. I, I know, 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 my life is worth Somebody else, somebody else, somebody else might want to come today. My life is worth Somebody else, somebody else might want to come today. We don't know, we don't know. But God knows. We don't know, but God knows. We don't know, we don't know, we don't know but God knows. Thank you, Jesus, because you know. I can face tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus, because you know. Because he lives. Because you know, Lord. We don't know, but you know. It's gone. Because I, I know. I know, I know. He holds the future, and life is worth living just. Your life is worth yeah, living yeah, 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 just. Yeah. Our life is worth yeah, yeah, yeah. living just my mind because, because. 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 He thank you thank you Lord Thank you, Lord, for your brightness. Thank you for the brightness of your glory. Above all other powers. Thank you for the brightness of your glory in every heart that inhales and exhales. Thank you Lord for the brightness of your glory everywhere where somebody is walking down the aisle right now somebody is contemplating somebody is Lord somebody is putting it in off until another time 
But Lord, this may be my last time. But we want to thank you for the brightness of your glory for this time and for the last time. We give you the praise right now. In Jesus' name, wherever they are, Lord, they are giving you their heart. They are beholding your love and your grace. In Jesus' name. In the loving name of Jesus, amen. And give God the praise. Amen. Give God one more praise. Amen. Even the angels in heaven rejoice over one lost sinner. We all rejoice when we when we see people living a Christian life. We ought to be glad. We are not coming to church every Sunday to meet the devil. We come to church to meet Jesus. The brightness of his glory. And the brightness of his glory is shining here this morning. Like it never shined in a long time. Amen. And we have to give him the glory. Because the glory is not ours. God said he's not giving his glory to nobody. So don't, don't, you, don't you look to be glorified. Until you be whoo, resurrected. Then we'll have that glorified body. Amen. Amen. And we thank the Lord for Jesus Christ. Sending two people down the aisle of this church. Amen. To be a part of this local church. We don't take that lightly. Because our, our God brightness won't let us. And right now, we're going to let our secretary read for she has received from these two individuals who have come to new life. See what God has done. Praise God. Today, we have before us Sister Stephanie Irene Capel, who has come to join through Christian experience. Also, Brother Chris. Dwayne, Christopher Dwayne McCray through Christian experience as well to join. Amen. Amen. Amen, Sister Secretary. Amen. Thank you. She's going to give me her secretary book. But she didn't know her pastor. Her pastor got a backlog on me. Amen. One more time. Amen. Amen. Sister Stephanie Irene. Yeah. No. Appeal. <laughs> yeah. Pastor needs to know how to pronounce it. Because when I'm praying for y'all, I don't want to give nobody's name but yours. Amen. 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 Sister Appeal, would you please stand? Amen. 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 First and foremost, I want the church to know that new life is <laughs> especially on uh, receiving uh, individuals to be a local part of our church geographically. We are not on a voting system. Amen. When you say you want to come to church and you want to be a member of our church, we don't vote you in. You're already in. I want to make that loud and clear. You are in because you wouldn't be here if the Lord wouldn't have called you. If the Lord wouldn't have sent you, you wouldn't be here. So we're just going to cut through the chase. 
and I extend to you the right hand of Christian fellowship. And before we do that, we'll ask you one or two questions, if that's all right. You love Jesus. You've been baptized in Jesus. You've been, you have received his Holy Spirit in your soul. You have beheld him because of the brightness of his glory. What else do you need? We give you the right hand of Christian fellowship. And we thank the Lord for you being a part of our ch local church. Because now we know that we have one more a part of the universal church at New Life Missionary Baptist Church as a full-fledged member of this church. Amen. Now, now, now. Now, we, 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 have, uh, we have our orientation, amen, uh, committee uh, leader, Sister Hightower, gives orientation on every second Sunday, amen, and uh, we want you to know things about new life, amen, that you didn't know before you became a member. Now that you are a member, there are some very important things you need to know. Amen. Amen. And we have some young ladies out there, some old ladies too, that, that'll run up here and get you and take you to your seat. We love you. And we thank God for you. Amen. Amen. Doesn't take God long to do nothing. Amen. Now, uh, uh, amen. Brother Christopher uh, Dwayne, uh, uh, Brother Christopher Dwayne McCurry, McCray. Hey. It's me. But at the same time, Brother McCray, we want you to please stand. And as, as as we see him standing, he's a human being, lie, he can talk, amen, he can clap his hand, amen, amen. Jesus' disciples, especially Thomas, Doubting Thomas, we call him, had a problem with that, and Jesus wanted him to know that he was alive, amen. That's why he told Thomas to touch his side. Amen. That's why he told Thomas to look at his hand, the piercedness in his hand. And we know this young man is alive. Amen. And he's here. We're not going to offer him anything to eat. Jesus told him to give him something to eat, but we don't have nothing to offer you to eat. But we know that he's able to feed himself. Amen. Amen. And we love God, New Life. Amen. And we love people who love God. And not only that, we extend that love to people who don't love God. And what we do here is we try to treat people like we love God. Amen. Amen. And we do, we do love the idea that you want to be a part of New Life Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. Because being a part of New Life Missionary Baptist Church means that you want to be a part of our fellowship. Amen. That means you have forsaken bedside Baptists. Amen. And come to New Life Missionary Baptists. Amen. So we expect for you to be a fellowship brother because we got a brotherhood here that you would love to be a part of. Amen. And we thank God for that. We thank God for our sisterhood too because we have some here can direct you just as well as these brothers in the way we going in Christ Jesus because it's all about Jesus. Is it all about Jesus? Amen. It's, it's not about anything else. Amen. No little eyes and no big U's and no who did it best. It's just about Jesus. And I tell you, brother, we've been seeing you walk around here doing things around here. We just thank God for you. And we want God to be in your heart as much or more than he's in our heart. Because our Bible teaches us to think higher than your brother than you think of yourself. That means you don't put yourself down, but you let people know that you are humble in Jesus Christ. And we thank God for your humble spirit for coming up, wanting to be a part of new life. We extend to you the right hand of Christian fellowship. Amen. As I full stated, amen. We have orientation every second Sunday. 
and our secretary, our orientation secretary there will get with you all and let you know when orientation uh, is and you can get you all can give her her time her the timing that you can do it and we appreciate what you come to do for new life but most of all for Jesus Christ he is the head not only of the church but ahead of me I'm not the shepherd here. I'm the under shepherd. I got to go to Jesus. And we got some brothers here. They're not in the upper room hiding like the apostles were. But they're going to come. See, one patting you on the back already. Isn't God good? I said, isn't God good? Amen. 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 One more time now. Amen. 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 If you will, at this particular time, we're going to have altar call. And we have in our midst today a young man I hadn't seen in such a long time. I had to look twice when he walked in my office. Reverend A.L. Jackson. Always ready to preach. Amen. But we're going to ask him to come to do our altar call while you come. But we want to remember those who are on our prayer list. And far as I can reach this morning, Brother Patterson is sick under the weather. We need to pray for him. If we have any more members that are sick, I, I, I haven't heard of them yet. Heard of any more. But anyway, we will pray for them if we have heard of any. But we want to just pray for those who are sick and shed in, those who are not feeling so well as the Reverend A.L. Patterson. Ja Jackson. I don't know why I want to say Patterson. Jackson, come to lead us in altar prayer. Thank you. Today we come, today with our heads bowed down in the lowest shape, form, and fashion which we know how. Lord, today we come as an empty pitcher before a full fountain. Today, Lord, needing you to fill the cup with joy. Lord, we know that if we step out on faith, Lord, we know that you would fill that cup. Lord, we come today, Lord, saying thank you. Thank you, Lord, for early morning sunrise. Thank you, Lord, for how you allow our eyes to come open to this new day. Lord, we realize it was nothing but your divine grace. Lord, today, Lord, there are those that are bowing down on the sound of my weak voice. Lord, we come saying thank you. Father, today, each individual that is bowing down, oh God, they are in need right now. Lord, there are some that were not able to be here that are in need. Father, today, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you will come and let them know through the spirit that you are God. That you are that I'm not present God. And you see and you know everything. Lord, let them know today, Lord, you can speak a word and man shall live. Let them know today that you can speak a word and man will die. Lord, we come, oh God, saying thank you. Lord, today there's somebody around the altar, oh God, needs you right now. 
But Father, you know what they're standing in need of right now. But Lord, I pray, oh God, that your spirit would touch from heart to heart to breath to breath. Yes. Let them know that you're so omnipresent. Let them know that you hold all the power of heaven and earth in your hand. Oh God, right now, somebody is hurting right now. Somebody is seeing a doctor right now. But oh, Father, you never know until you meet Dr. Jesus. Father, somebody is rocking with pain right now. Father, somebody so desired to come out to the church this morning. We're not able to make it here this morning. But oh, God, realize that you are a universal God. That you know everything. That you sit high and you look low and never, never do you sleep or nor you slumber. Father, whatever they stand in the need of right now. I pray, oh God, that you will touch their hearts right now. Whatever it is within their mind is not right, oh God. I pray, oh God, this morning that you will take out all the hatred. Take out all the envy and malice out of their hearts. I pray on the day, Lord, that you will put them back on the street called straight. I pray for those that are crying at home because they wanted to come to church this morning. I pray this morning, oh God, for those that are traveling up and down the dangerous highways. I pray, oh God, that you will have mercy, sir. Father, right now we realize that we're living now in the last and our evil days. Father, we're living now in a time like we've never seen before. But you said in your word, all we got to do is look into the year with coming all the time to help. And, and Father, we realize on this morning and now, all of our help come from thee and thee alone. I know today, oh God, that you can change the very essence of the movement of our lives. I pray, oh God, that you will, uh, whatever it is causing them to come short of your glory, uh, I pray that you will move it out, move it out of their hearts, their minds. Uh, I pray, oh God, that you will put them back on the street called straight. This morning, oh God, I call you by your name. I pray for our children uh, all over this corporate world. Uh, I pray, oh God, that you will uh, have mercy, sir. Those that did not come to church, those that don't know you in the past that I've seen. Uh, but I pray on this morning, oh God, that you will have mercy. That you will have mercy upon all of their lives. I pray for those uh, that are in the hospital this morning. Those that are going through surgery this morning, I pray this morning that you will uh, direct the surgeon's hand. Uh, that I know this morning, oh God, if you direct the surgeon's hand, uh, everything will be all right. Uh, I pray for Madisonville County this morning. I pray, oh God, that you will change their mind, oh God, uh, so they can think right. Uh, change their lives so they can live right but i know today nobody can do that but you god you are that on my present god that you sit high and you look low and never never do you sleep and now you slumber but we stop now to just say thank you oh god right now lord i know oh god every time they just try to do right Evil was always there to beguile them to do wrong. But I pray on this morning, oh God, let them tell Satan that he is a lion because God gives the author and the finisher of our faith. The race was not given to the fast nor the strong, but it was given to the one that would endure to the end. But oh God, how mercy right now. I pray, oh God, for the whole entire world. I pray for those that are traveling up and down the dangerous highways. Whatever it will go, God, I pray that you will take control of the steering wheel. And not only them, Lord, I pray that you will take control of the steering wheel of our lives. If you would be the captain of our ship today, Lord, I know that we can have smooth sailing. I know everything would be all right. Uh, but this morning, oh God, I ask of thee, Lord, uh, please uh, have mercy, sir. Uh, 
I pray for the pastor of this church as well. Uh, I pray, oh God, that you will uh, stand him up, fill him up, oh God, uh, for he's towing down uh, and strengthen him, oh God, while he's needed today. If it ever been, if it ever been, uh, what we need you, oh God, it's right now. We need you in our lives, oh God. Let there be singing in our home. Let there be praising in our home. Let there be laughter in our homes. But I pray today, oh God, that you will bound, take them bound from Satan's hand. That you will move Satan out of their lives. Because I know one thing, every time we try to do good, evil is always present. But right now we just say, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you for everything. Uh, for giving us joy. For giving us peace. Uh, can't nobody do it like you. Because uh, you are an awesome God. Uh, and we stop now just to say thank you. Uh, thank you, oh God. Uh, and forgive us, oh God. For all of our sin. We know that you are the only wise God. That you are the only omnipotent God. That can make us white as snow. You're the only God that can get us out of trouble. And Lord, when we're not doing the right thing, we're in trouble with you. And Lord, we want to stop running. Lord, we know if we keep running, Lord, we know time is of essence. Time is running out in our lives. Oh, Father, we ask of thee today, Lord, we don't want to play Russian roulette with our soul. Because I know today we play Russian roulette with our soul. We're headed, oh God, to a midnight meal. But oh God, right now, somebody out there needs you right now. Because I know right now somebody is struggling right now. I know somebody is in racket with pain right now. I know somebody are dealing with those bills in their homes. Somebody don't have food on their tables. Somebody is struggling out there. But oh God, I know that you are the bread over troubled water. I know, oh God, that you can make everything all right. I pray, oh God, that you will bless this community. I pray, oh God, that you will have mercy, sir. I pray this morning, oh God, that your spirit will come down upon all your people and let them live the life that you set forth for us to all live. But I know today that the race was not given to the fast nor the strong, but it was given to the one that would endure to the end. I'm praying right now, Lord, that I'm praying that everything, everything will be all right. But I know that you can give us joy. You can give us joy. Forgive us, oh God, for all of our transgressions. Help us, oh God, to live better citizens down here so we can be gigantic, great citizens in your kingdom. Oh Lord, we know that the devil is going around like a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. But on today, Lord, I pray that when we leave this place, oh God, never from your presence, that you will always keep us from falling from grace. Oh, Lord, we may look good in these suits, but on the inside, Lord, we need some cleaning up on the inside. We need our mind to be washed with his son. We need our mind to be washed with your spirit. And, Lord, we know if your mind, our mind is washed with your spirit, oh, God, we'll be just like a mechanical, a mechanical robot. Every time you turn for us to turn right, we will turn right. Every time you tell us to turn left, we will turn left. And Father, we want to be that common copy in your love. And Lord, when it all has been done and said, we pray, oh God, that you would give us a home, oh God, just somewhere, somewhere in your kingdom. Whether where it should be at rest. That would be a resting place somewhere in God's kingdom. These many other blessings we ask. In your son, Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, and thank you, Lord. Give God some praise. Amen. At this time now, we are going to have our operatory spirit and we are going to ask if
Minister Dickey will come to do our offer to her. Amen. 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 This time we're going to read the October scripture, 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 8. Do I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not charity? I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profit me nothing. Charity suffered long and is kind. Charity invented not, charity wanted not, itself is not puffed up. Does not be saved it, itself unseemly. Seek it not her own, it's not easily provoked. Think it no evil. Rejoice it not in iniquity, but rejoice it in the truth. Bear it all things. Believe it all things, hope it all things, and do it all things. Charity never fail, but whether it be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether it be tongue, they shall cease. Whether it be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Amen. You may be seated with lifting up the offering, please. <laughs> Father, we thank you, Lord, for this offer. Lord, we thank you for those that gave. We thank you for those that had a desire to give but did not. That's you. Bless it as you see fit. Amen. You may be seated. At this time, we're going to turn it back in the hands of Pastor John. The entire body of Christ said amen. 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 At this time, we're going to ask our Announcing clerk to please come at this time, none other than Sister Haley Jones. 